Hello everybody, Marcos Vegas for Fight Up TV, standing next to Phil Baroni here at the AK Gym in San Jose, California. And Phil, the show coming up, Fight Factory, features yourself, John Fitch, and the, the rest of the gang here at AKA, and it gives a really personal portrayal of the struggles that you yourself and others go through that many of us don't have the chance to see. When looking at the series and looking at the things you've been through, overall, how's the whole experience been for you? I mean, it's been good. I mean, it's been good. You know, I've been in front of cameras a long time, but it's mostly to build a fight. N never really about me. It's mostly about the New York Badass. It's never really about Phil Baroni. So you get to see, you know, behind the scenes what, what it's like for me and, you know, the trials and tribulations or, or whatever you call it, uh, you know, that, that, that you don't normally see. It's not about promoting a fight. It's about... It's about basically us guys and what we go through at, at living life as a professional fighter. And it's not as glamorous as it's cracked up to be. Looking at you and your story and the many clips that I've seen on the show, a lot of up and downs for you. A lot of, I want to say, soul searching, it, it seems, through the series. Has there been a lot of soul searching for yourself during the filming and leading up to the months now during your current fight that you have scheduled? Yeah, of course, man. That's been the story of my whole career, you know, and it just captures a little piece of it. I think this, I think this, this segment and stuff on me, you know, I think it kind of, it kind of captures, you know, basically my, 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 my like I said, my, my whole career, you know, all, all summed up in one, uh, one, one, one little, I guess, segment, you know, it's, it's, it's pretty much the story of story of my career you know it's the, the struggles and uh what's been going on since since the beginning during the series we see a lot of interaction between yourself and your family and uh your mother in new york and uh a lot of pressure on her part telling you you know don't fight anymore and since the series do you still get that type of pressure from your family do they still want to see you not compete it's not about competing my mom you know my mom says I'm so handsome and she doesn't want me to ruin my face anymore, you know what I mean? She cries when she sees my nose and, and my, my, my black eyes and whatnot when I come home. You know, she, she's my mom. She, she loves me. She cares about me. She never wanted me to fight. She wanted me to be an actor or something like that. But, uh, you know, she always supports me. And, uh, you know, you're always going to have stuff like that, people saying stuff. You know, who, who wants to see their family member get in there and, 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 and you know, fight in a cage? I mean, really, I mean... I mean, they try and soften it, you know, the, the promotions try and soften what it is, but what is it? It's two guys getting in the cage in their underwear and fighting and fighting, you know? It's basically the death. The one guy can't take it anymore. So, you know, let's not soften it. It is what it is. It's probably hard for a mother or, or a wife to, to, to watch someone they love and care about, uh, you know, a son, to, you know, going to, going, to, going to cage and fight. Looking at it, too, as well, you know, it, it just brings it, close to home, I guess, for you guys involved in just the story of even the up-and-comers not really coming from a lot of money and, and the fights that they're getting doesn't really pay them as much as well. In the series, I know you mentioned that, you know, you're, you're wanting to fight because you, how you put it, you're sort of behind on bills and, and you know, you're needing money. Is everything good now on, on that front? Well, well, you know, during the time I, I during the time of the filming, I, I was just coming off a shoulder surgery and, uh, you know, I, I I haven't fought in about nine or ten months at the time, so I, you know, I, I, I'm not the best at uh, planning ahead, and I kind of spent the money that I made my last previous fight a little quick, and I, and I needed some money. And uh, my wife is, uh, you know, in college and she's working, but you know, we need some. She ain't working as much as she can, and we need the money to pay for school and stuff like that. So, you know, it's but. It, Everybody has uh, those problems. I mean, it's, it's nothing special. I mean, I think everyone can relate to that. I don't think everyone has as much money. That, well, not many people have as much money as they as they as they would like to, and and are as comfortable as they want to be. So it's not nothing special. You know, us as fighters, we chose this this life and we chose this road. And you know, I think and I think it's something everyone can relate to. I, I think they'll see you know why sometimes we fight and why sometimes we rush into fights or maybe take fights when we're not ready or injured. And but you know I, I think they don't really show that in in the, in, in the pre-fight build-up a, a normal a normal pre-fight thing because that doesn't sell fights. That makes you know what I mean. You want to hear everyone's the best. They train the best they ever. They train the best they could. They're in the best shape of their life and they're ready to go out there and kill their, their opponent. But really behind the scenes, there's a lot of stuff that goes on. A lot of guys are injured. A lot of guys, 
have short notice fights or change of opponents or you know there's a lot of things that go along and uh i think it's a eye opener to to the casual fan or any fan who you know even a hardcore fan they don't really know what goes on behind the scenes